The Cannabis Show is for information only. You should always consult with a qualified and licensed physician or other medical care provider. Today, Evan teaches us about germinating seeds on growing tips. Hart tells us what the buzz is in LP land, and Basil and Hart go head to head in another strain versus strain. All that and more, it's The Cannabis Show. Hello and welcome to Growing Tips. My name's Evan. Today, we're gonna to talk about the beginning of the cannabis plant's life, germinating seeds. There's a few different methods to do this, including placing your seeds directly into your um, growing medium or placing them into a cup of water. But my favorite uses a wet paper towel and a plastic bag. I'm gonna to show you how to do that today. It's a fairly simple process. First, we'll wanna wet our paper towel and open up our bag. And a couple of seeds in here. And then we'll just place that in. Some people like to give a little breath of uh, CO2 in there to sort of puff up the bag. I think just the warm air from your breath helps a little bit. And then you wanna place this in a warm, dark place for a day or two. And then you should start to see a taproot sticking out of the seed. And it'll look something like this. So as you can see, those seeds have cracked open and we've got a white healthy taproot sticking out. And now those seeds are ready to go into our growing medium. I've got some peat moss plugs here that work really great for starting seeds. And you can either use a spoon or your fingers, or I've got some tweezers to just stick the right down into the hole. Uh, it doesn't matter what end you put because it'll grow up no matter what. And some people like to top with a little bit of extra peat moss. I just pinch it closed, just like that. And then you can place that in a humidity dome with a light on top. And in a day or two, you should have something that looks like this. Once those roots establish, those plants are ready to be potted into a little bit bigger pot, and you have the start of your cannabis plant. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and keep growing. Player one, player two, fight. It's time for strain versus strain. Hart and Basil will both have 30 seconds to defend their strain. And for your chance to win a prize today, tell us who you think wins in the YouTube comments below. Today, it's a Whistler strain face-off. Hart representing Bubba Kush, and Basil is representing Acapulco Gold, both from licensed producer Whistler. Okay, Basil, you can kick things off this round. You have 30 seconds to make your case. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, three, two, one, and go! All right, first of all, Whistler, man. Wow, right? You yeah. guys are doing some really good things. Uh, this Acapulco Gold, it's a classic strain, you know, probably not uh, this, the, the original cultivar or nothing, but it's, uh, it, it acts like it should. It's very sativa-like. It's got a nice amount of caryophyllene, terp terpinaline in there, um, and that's what I think is giving it this, this really unique smell. It's, for me, it's a lot like a Jack Carrera kind of smell, but lacking in that myrcene, which is great for those people who uh, suffer from tachycardia. You can get that sativa-type strain, no myrcene. <laughs> And uh, great sativa strain. Wow, nice. nice. Good job, Basil. All right, Hart. It's a Whistler versus Whistler strain versus strain. Are you ready? Versus. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Of course I'm ready. Okay, three, two, one, and go. All right, so Bubba Kush. I mean, it's a pretty classic heavy hitter. Um, this particular uh, cut has about 20% THC. Terps. Um, as you mentioned, uh, this one has a lot of transneridol in it as well. Um, so nice, relaxing effects with it. Lots of caryophyllene in this one as well. When I cracked the seal on it, I got some beautiful hints of chocolate, some coffee. Um, it's, uh, it's Vincent Chase from Entourage's favorite strain. 
Um, anyway, but what, what I think we should do here, what do you think about a draw? I mean, I think both beautiful strains, they both have similar turf profiles. You know, I gotta agree with you, man. I think it's gonna be tough to pick a winner out of this one. I think, uh, you know, like the great Willie Nelson said, there's no bad weed, just some's better. I hear you. All right, let's, 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 50, 50. let's do it. Put her there. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, like New Zealand versus Sweden? They got a chess? No, 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 that's not how it works. For those of you watching at home, who do you think won? Tell us in the comments below, and we'll announce a winning strain in an upcoming show. We'll also choose a winning YouTube comment at random to win a prize. Ontario-based LP PureSense has signed a supply agreement with the Supreme Cannabis Company, as well as two other LPs that weren't named. These agreements represent a significant milestone for PureSense, as it has now received the necessary product required to obtain a sales license under the ACMPR, which is expected in the next few months. Leamington, Ontario's Afria has completed the largest international shipment of cannabis oil to date to Australia's MedLab Clinical Limited. Afria has provided high CBD cannabis oil and a high THC cannabis oil, both of which were designed specifically for MedLab to be used in a human trial to test the management of intractable pain in oncology patients. Hydropothecary has announced a $10 million strategic investment into Western Canada cannabis retail outfit Fire and Flower. The investment will help the Quebec-based LP secure space in the important Alberta, BC, and Saskatchewan markets. And finally, it's official, Aurora and MedRelief are now one. In what's being billed as the largest industry transaction in history, the merger creates a unified cannabis company with a capacity of more than 570,000 kilograms of cannabis per year. Welcome to the Cannabis Show, Chris, Hart, Kate, and Basil, and you know your story there with uh, LP Buzz and yeah. uh, the Afria's big shipment of oil going to Australia. It's amazing how this is happening, you know, around the world. Yeah, and we're leading too. We are leading, and I think the fact is, is that yeah, our product is superior. We know what we're doing. We've been at it for quite a while. Yeah, had a few uh, years and other, to dial it yeah, in. Exactly, and other countries are looking to us. So this is happening quite frequently, I take it, eh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, going on here, uh, strain versus strain, the Whistler there. Oh, man. <laughs> They're doing so many things right over there. Uh, you know, it's small batch craft. I mean, I know those names get thrown around a lot. Those terms get thrown around That's a lot. Right. But um, it's pretty true. Uh, the yeah. stuff is, they hit it out of the park. It's yeah. pretty nice looking cannabis. And they give you, S smell, smoking, and they give you smell it. Yeah, <laughs> ample amounts of, uh, of, information as well like it's the right full there. terpene profile with with you know great percentages they give you um cannabinoid profile with oh, percentages yeah. um you know you can see that some of these strains actually do contain a little bit more cbg or some of these THCV, other exactly like some of these um, other uh cannabinoids that yeah they knock see. it mm -hmm. out of the park yeah. uh, to use that phrase again 27 strain specific oils strain specific <laughs> oils i think is yeah but just too. specifically with mm -hmm. the the information that they provide on the strain it's like overkill like yeah. i mean and that's a good thing yeah. right yeah. like that's yeah. amazing but some people need to know and want to know and yet yeah. that's you know you go over there you go they're yeah. just ahead of the game because everybody's gonna have to be you know uh, going towards public demand and, mm -hmm. and revealing all terpenes and yeah. cannabinoids that'll be really cool when yeah. they start doing that yeah i think awesome. uh, some others should definitely start looking to them for sure yeah and then uh you know talk about like growing your own and, gra and craft growing and stuff and then we had evan in here with his little babies yeah yeah, yeah that was awesome <laughs> germination yeah that, that was incredible i just i love the beginning process where you're putting them into that little nap wet little bed you know you <laughs> yeah, away to so sleep cute. for a few yeah was that like two days or three days can take cool. yeah oh, up, okay. to, up to i think around 72 hours oh wow shorter it depends right yeah, yeah. no easy that, that's an awesome set as well um thanks for watching remember we have a new cannabis show every wednesday and we'll see you next time